Hi, this is Matricity. Welcome to my matrix. Happy Black Friday. It's Black Friday, y'all. Did you all get up early to go shopping? This year I did not because there wasn't really anything I really needed to get. But what I do want to talk to you about today is how to win Black Friday. And you're probably wondering, winning Black Friday? Black Friday? How do you do that? Well, you can. And what that means is you get all the things you want in a short period of time, and you don't have to spend all day shopping. The thing about Black Friday is that you must have a strategy. You can't just go all out there shopping all willy-nilly without a plan, without a list. That's not gonna work. You're gonna literally spend all day shopping, you're gonna be in long lines, but I have figured out a long time ago how to do Black Friday shopping without all of that situation, all that drama. The thing is, strategy. Now, in order to win Black Friday, there are five things you must have. The first one is gonna be the sale papers. You have to look through, find the things you want, uh, find the best price, and find the store that you want to buy them at. So the sales papers are very important because that really is gonna be the key to mapping out your next step as far as where you're gonna go uh, and how you're gonna get there. Uh, in addition to the sales papers, you need to have an alarm clock. Now today, uh, in today's time with our technology, usually that's gonna be your phone, but if you use your phone, be sure you set two alarms on the phone because you don't wanna miss it. You don't wanna miss your Black Friday morning. The other thing you must have is a portable chair. Now, depending on where you go, you don't have to take it with you, but have it in the trunk. And I'm talking one of those portable chairs like you'd uh, take to the beach, they kind of fold up and collapse in. They have a strap on, you can take them wherever you go. You need a portable chair. The other thing you're gonna need is a pair of good running shoes. Yes, running shoes. Now, they don't necessarily have to be running shoes, but they must be comfortable shoes that you can move fast in. Very important. You might have to do a little sprinting, so you gotta have the good shoes. So. Things you must have are, I'm gonna go over those again, the sales papers, the alarm clock, the portable chair, the running shoes. And then once you get all things together like that, the fifth thing you must have is your strategy. So this is gonna be most important because when you look at those sales papers, you're gonna sit down and study them like a map. You're gonna map out where you live to the stores that you wanna to go to, figure out the timing as far as drive time to those places, and you're gonna figure out, uh, based on what you wanna buy, the fastest, uh, I guess, the fastest stores to get to first as far as getting those items so you can move to that store quickly, buy that item, and go on to the next store. So, there is a plan and a strategy you must have for Black Friday in order to win the Black Friday. Now, the other thing too, when I talked about the running shoes, um, this is gonna be important once you get in the store because you might have to sprint. The thing is, buggies. Are you going to need a buggy or do you need bags? I have found that uh, years ago I did, was able to get buggies and when you think about going to a store like Walmart and stars buggies, um, people are going to be jammed at the door so if you do head toward the buggies you want to be sure that you get try to position yourself so you get to one of the uh, buggies maybe on the far side so that that's where not where the majority of the people are so you can get that buggy and sprint on to where you want to go. If the buggy section is too crowded, the other thing I also have with me are the the you know the portable bags, the reusable bags that everybody has today. You know, you can buy them at any grocery store. Have about eight to ten of those with you, because if you are not gonna do the buggy thing, because there's way too many people, bags. You can put all of your items in your bags and you don't have to worry about a buggy. So that works just as well, if not better. All right. So once you're going to you know, map out your, your strategy as far as where you're gonna go based on your sale papers and what you wanna buy, then you're gonna to go to bed early on Thanksgiving night. And I know sometimes stores open on Thanksgiving night, but uh, depending on what you wanna get, you may not go to any of those. So go to bed early Thanksgiving night because the time you're gonna wake up in order for this to work is 3 a.m. Yes, three, not four, not five, because at five o'clock the stores are open. 3 a.m. So you can get your cup of coffee, put on your warm-up suit, get your shoes on, your running shoes, of course, and get ready to head out the door with your sales papers, your disposable bags, your portable chair, and you are off to the races. So let me tell you, I, 
I have been the Black Friday shopper and I'm the one who will be running through the aisles to get items. Yes, I am that person. Now, I haven't done that recently, but unless you do that at least once or twice in your life, then you really haven't experienced Black Friday. And um, some of the examples I'll give you where I've actually won Black Friday, Black Friday. Um, one example was years and years ago when my child was little and she wanted uh, a scene saying, this is when, of course, Santa Claus was still, you know, a real figure and she wanted one of those. And so they were having a big sale, you know, doorbuster sale at Walmart. Oh my gosh, the sun is bright. Um, so then I decided I needed to get her one. So there I was, I had all my, had my strategy um, at the Walmart, probably like at four o'clock in the morning swarmed. There was a mass of people at the door, but I was in the front of the line because I got there early. And, uh, and so I didn't take a portable chair that time because with Walmart, you can't have a lot of stuff with you at Walmart to cumber you down, hold you back because you gotta be able to run. So once the doors open, boom, I took off like a shot. I got a buggy and so did other, other moms. So you're, you're fighting against other moms who are trying to get toys for their kids. So there I was in Walmart with my buggy and I was running through the aisles with my buggy being very aggressive to get to the toy section along with the other moms doing the same thing. And so got to the toy section and of course there was only one C and say left on the shelf. I saw another woman uh, coming from the opposite aisle. We were on the same aisle, but coming from opposite directions toward that one thing. I said, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we're gonna be a, we're gonna be a race to the finish to get the C and say. So I jumped in front of my buggy and just took off with the buggy holding, dragging it behind me with the buggy, my hand out to where the CNC, got my hand on the CNC first. Two seconds later, she put her hand on the same CNC. Oh no, not having it. I said, listen, you better let go because my hand was on this first. She held on, I held on. Oh my gosh, she was not gonna let go. I said, I'm serious. You better let your hands off of this because I got this first. She looked at me and I said, I'm serious. And I, I gave her another look and I said, I am dead serious. You better let go of this CNSA. I was not playing. And sure enough, she backed away from the CNSA and it was mine. And my daughter had one for Christmas. Well, you know, I honestly had it first. My hand was on it. I had it. It's like she put her hand after. It's like, no. That was my CNC and I left with it. So that was one day that I won Black Friday with the CNC. Now another year, Walmart would have some crazy sale on appliances, like $5. And so this was one where, uh, again, I mapped out the strategy, was able to get a buggy that year, and it was a mom scene at the door again. Doors open at Walmart, I think at like 4.45 in the morning. It was crazy. So there I was running through the aisles. I knew exactly what I wanted because I checked all the papers and I knew what I needed. I needed kitchen items. So kitchen appliances. So I flew straight there to the aisle with my buggy and got all the things I needed. I needed a blender, a toaster, a can opener, a coffee maker. Got all my things in the buggy. And there weren't that many people there because other people were going for the bigger items like televisions and um you know, music and of course the toys, but I needed kitchen items because all of my things were kind of worn out. So that year I was able to get in. I bought all of my appliances at this crazy cost of like $5 at Walmart. And I was so happy I was out the door. I didn't have to stand on a long line to get rung up, of course, but I got all the things I wanted. So that year I won Black Friday. Another year, and if you think back to, I don't know, this is the time of, I can't remember the year, but when Nelly was big, um, and you know, the whole tennis shoe game was big with the kids, like the Air Force Ones and all of that. My daughter was very little, but she still was into that thing, at scene, and J-Lo was big. Uh, she had to have J-Lo clothing, and of course I got her some of those things. And one year for Christmas, she wanted those Air Force Ones. I was looking at those crazy prices, but I thought, okay, I'm the mom. I can make magic happen for Christmas for her. So, Northwoods Mall. I had to go to Northwoods Mall to get these shoes at one of the athletic stores. I can't remember the name of it. So, this is one where I had to take the portable chair. So, I was ready. I got to Northwoods Mall thinking I was going to be early at about, even earlier than my time at 3 o'clock. I got to Northwoods at 2 in the morning 
two in the morning. The doors were open. Of course, every store was on lockdown, but it was two o'clock in the morning. And when I got to the athletic store, they were at least 55 to 60 people already in line. Oh my gosh, ahead of me. I thought, well, I think hopefully I'll be able to get a pair. They'll have my child size. And uh, I got in that line and we waited for hours because at two o'clock in the morning, the stores didn't open at Northwest until six. So we had a four hour wait. That is why you need your portable chair because if you have to wait, I mean, imagine standing for four hours. I mean, some people did because they didn't think to bring a chair, but I was able to sit in my chair for four hours till the door opened. So got in, you know, got to the Air Force ones. My daughter had already given me a picture and we'd picked out the pictures for as what she liked. And so I was able to get those shoes for her. So I won that year at Northwest with the Air Force ones. But if I hadn't gotten there at two o'clock in the morning, I would probably would not have gotten those shoes because people behind me, gosh, they were running out of the shoes. So they had a good supply in, but they were crazy. It was crazy. Now, the another time where I won Black Friday was when I worked at the Disney store. Well, you know, I worked for Disney for 10 years. Wonderful company to work for. And this is when I worked at the Disney store in Northwoods Mall. Now, we were having a special uh, Beanie Baby giveaway on Black Friday. It was one of the Dalmatian plush toys, the little tiny ones, like Beanie Babies. And so there was only 100. Whenever Disney did something like that for a special holiday, they only sent 100 to each store. So... You had to be one of the hundred in line and of course the way we did it was that we gave out tickets because some people try to jump in the line things like that so if you didn't have a numbered ticket given you by a cast member you weren't getting a beanie baby and so there's no way even as a, a an employee of disney you couldn't hold anything back for employees because these are for our customers for our guests so if we wanted something we had to be in line like everybody else and that's if you were off to buy one so that morning i decided I, I mean, I was a collector of Beanie Babies. I jumped in the whole Ty bandwagon. You know, I have a probably 350 Beanie Babies uh, for Ty. And then, of course, I have all the Disney Beanie Babies, too. So that morning, I also arrived at the Northwoods Mall at 2 a.m. in the morning. I thought I would be one of the first 10, but I was not. I was in one of the, I was one of the first 20 because there were already people in line at the Disney store at 2 a.m., so I think I was number 17. So I was close to being, you know, I was in the 20, top 20. So I was number 17, pulled out my chair, had my coffee. You know, we had to wait till 6 a.m. So we had to sit and wait for four hours. So I sat in my chair for four hours until the store opened. Now I'll have you to know that some people came up uh, because I think JC Penney's or whatever might have opened at five. Some of the bigger retailers said the anchor stores open at five o'clock. And so some people tried to jump the line at the Disney store, but oh no, I wasn't letting that happen. First of all, they didn't have a number. And what happened was some of their friends were ahead of me. And so I told the cast member, I said, you know, this person here, these people, they're not in line. They just jumped the line and they don't have numbers. So I was like the cast member police because I was an employee of Disney. Plus I wasn't anyone gonna jump in line because that would move my number back as far as getting Beanie Babies. I mean, people are so rude, but you can't let them do it. So, got my Beanie Baby, uh, you know, at Disney that year, and it was fantastic. And I was very happy. So that year, I also won Black Friday. Yay! See, it is very possible to win Black Friday, but you have to plan for it. Now, the other thing I have also done is one night, I know that Tanger Mall opens on Thanksgiving evening uh, i think at like five or six and stays open all night long well one of the years i did that i did that crazy thanksgiving night black friday shopping so what happened was after thanksgiving dinner went to tanger probably like around seven. Oh my gosh it was a mob scene but regardless we went there my goal was coach bags because coach was having a super sale and some great prizes and so that's what i wanted to do get those coach bags so I went to the coach bag uh, outlet and of course, five million people were there already. Um, so I got in the line. Now that year I did not take my um, chair because uh, at Tanger, there were so many people, I didn't want to be bogged in with the chair because I wanted to hold packages. So didn't have the chair, had to wait about two hours because the coach store was so overrun, they got to the point where they would only let in 10 to 20 people at a time. Those people would shop 
make their purchases and leave and then they will let another 10 to 20 it was that crazy so I stood for two hours in the coach line until I could get in the door I was able to shop I got five coach bags at great prices and also a iPod cover a wonderful it's real uh, I don't know I think it's either goat skin or it's cow skin but it's the fur it's like a fur iPod cover it's beautiful I still have it today um, but I got that and so I had a great time and we were probably out of the coach store like around let's see if we got there around six or so had to wait for two hours got in as we eight I'd say we got out of coach like around ten and literally we spent the rest of the night at the outlet store there we shopped all night all night got great things my child was into vans and other things she still is but I was able to get her some tennis shoes there also that she wanted um, but I don't think we left Tanger until about 3 a.m. so from Thanksgiving night from like you know 6 to 3 a.m. I shopped at Tanger got all kinds of great things because when you think about it you know from midnight to 3 even though there's lots of people there the majority of people are in their bed sleeping because they're not out that late or that early so I got home slept after that but that year I also won Black Friday so it's very possible to get some wins on Black Friday to get in and get out and get the things you need but you got to have a plan you got to have a strategy it's so important now the other thing too is that these strategies just don't work only for Black Friday when is hurricane season in Charleston and it is now Black Friday and so I think a hurricane season doesn't officially end until Saturday which is tomorrow so when you think about when a storm is coming through here and people are getting ready and you see all of the bread and all of the milk and all of the water flying off the shelves these Black Friday tips still work too let me tell you I have been the one sprinting through Walmart to get last rolls of toilet paper um, going to the camping section getting lanterns and grills and everything else and you know funny because I remember I was going to the grill to the uh, camping section and then I heard this man over you know talking to another woman saying you know I just left the camping section and they only have two they only have two lanterns left well boom she was still talking to him I zipped around there and got those two lanterns because she was slow Okay, <laughs> she was slow. I got the last two lanterns because I needed those lanterns. And the same thing happened that same year with a grill. I think I made another pass through, another pass through the camping section, and I heard, heard someone else talking about, uh, there's only one more, you know, Weber grill left or something. Boom. While they're talking about the grill, I nabbed the grill. So you've got to be quick, you got to be savvy, you got to listen. But those same strategies for Black Friday work for hurricane prep okay because uh, I have also been the one to sprint through the Walmart to get those last items when you think about getting ready for a hurricane um, so that is it you know as far as my tips for Black Friday you can win Black Friday but you have to have a plan you can't go shopping all willy-nilly because that's not gonna work so I hope that this year you're able to get the things you wanted to get uh, and if you haven't think about next year think about next year and getting ready and having that plan in action okay so happy shopping, and I will see you later, alligator. Bye!